Time now for the morning rush. Democrat Melanie Stansbury is the newest congresswoman for District 1 here in New Mexico. Now, she easily defeated three other challengers, winning by 24 points. She's the first Democrat to win a special election for Congress in New Mexico's history. Michelle Lujan Grisham finally answering tough questions this morning. She says much of the $250 million in overpayments at Workforce Solutions has been recouped. She added the current system is outdated, though. Others say it's a mistake that should never have happened. The National Institute of Health is now studying if vaccines can be mixed and matched for booster shots if needed. Researchers want to know if there are any safety risks is if someone receives a different booster vaccination. The testing comes as the U.S. continues to report declines in COVID cases and deaths. Erica. And our hourly forecast this morning climbing from the upper 50s quickly into the 60s. So you should only need a light sweater for the morning and we'll be back into the 80s by this afternoon. Some are questioning if all of the state's COVID vaccinations are being properly recorded. Some who got their COVID shots say they're not showing up in the state's reported system VaxView that has people worried the numbers are off. The state says VaxView is a separate system from the overall vaccine count. New Mexico is joining the list of states offering incentives to get the vaccination. Starting later this month through early August, $250,000 will be given weekly to four vaccinated New Mexicans. In August, one grand prize winner will take home $5 million. Well, happening today, we will be getting a better idea if we were going to be hitting the governor's goal of opening the state by July 1st. It's been four weeks since most of New Mexico counties went turquoise. There's going to be an update today at 1 p.m. The feds are now going after the wife of the man who stole millions from a local charter school. Scott Glassrude was sentenced to prison, ordered to pay $3 million in restitution. He hasn't. The feds are now seeking restitution from his now ex-wife, who was given their shared properties and retirement account. America. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index, keeping that low to moderate. We'll see one or two showers or thunderstorms this afternoon that could bring some stronger wind gusts. Two MDC officers are out of jail this morning after pleading not guilty in the death of an inmate. Lieutenant Keith Brandon and Officer Jan Jonathan Sandoval are charged with involuntary manslaughter for the in-custody death of Vicente Viela. In 2019, officials say Brandon told Sandoval to sit on Viela. He died a few minutes later. Erica. All right, here's a look at the traffic maps. We're running clear on the roadways this morning, and here's a look at Tracker. Uh, currently going east on I-40 near 12th Street, and we'll let you know when things start to pick up. Visitors at the Albuquerque International Balloon Museum will soon be able to enjoy new hands-on exhibit. The museum is teaming up with Explora and Electric Playhouse to create Elevation Station. Elevation Station set to open on Saturday, June 26th. Time now for the five facts. At number five this morning, visitors at the Albuquerque International Blue Museum will be able to enjoy a new hands-on exhibit starting on June 26th. The museum is teaming up with Explora and Electric Playhouse to create the Elevation Station. The youth exhibit will feature interactive games. Number four, the FBI continues the search for a wig-wearing bank robber. Yesterday, investigators say this woman walked into the New Mexico Bank and Trust on Louisiana and Candelaria. Reports state the five foot seven woman handed the teller a note demanding money, then took off. And in number three, if you're hoping to spend some time outside today, do so in the morning or the evening. We'll see storms during the early afternoon through the early evening hours. Number two, there are concerns that not all COVID vaccinations are being properly recorded in the state. Some who got their COVID shots say they're not showing up in the state's reporting system, VaxView New Mexico. However, the state says VaxView is a separate system from the overall vaccine count. The state says if you're seeing problems with your records, to give them a call. And at number one this morning, Democrat Melanie Stansbury is waking up today as the newest congresswoman for District 1 here in New Mexico. Well, she easily defeated three other challengers, including Republican Mark Moores, winning by 24 points. She's the first Democrat to win a special election for Congress in New Mexico's history. New Mexico will maintain its all-female U.S. House delegation and is the first state to have all-female representatives.